Hi, Joel Lightcatcher here with another trike riding vlog. I gotta avoid these uh, palm fronds, excuse me. Oh, it's like an obstacle course here. Wow, ah! Okay, that's the worst of this ride. <laughs> I'm on uh, um, the Imagination Farms Trail heading back out to Vista View Park. It's a beautiful Wednesday afternoon. I think it's December 14 or 15, not quite sure. It's about 8 degrees out here in December uh, in South Florida. Who could ask for anything better? Got all my work done early, and now I'm out here doing a ride. So today I'm going to talk about a couple of things. Uh, by the way, before you ask, my new right hip is doing great. My left knee is still tight in the hamstring. Um, did a two and a half hour ride last Sunday with it. A little sore. I'm going to try and do a two hour ride today. This trike is amazing for getting hips and knees back in shape. And my left hip from last, oh, a year ago, March, that's doing fantastic. I don't even notice it's artificial now. <coughs> Love that titanium. Yes, I still am titanium man. Anyway, I want to start this with a PSA because I had a little trouble with my cat trike road. This is not an AR. Ten, it's about 10 years old, built in 2013, and the air shock died. The rock shock and it died. I would fill it up and in 20, 30 minutes, flat again. Uh, I later found out that the, uh, there was an O-ring that failed and a leak in the valve stem. Uh, maybe I can get a part for that, but I'm still glad that I replaced it with a brand new one. Cost me about $160, $170 on Amazon. And this works better than the original one ever did. Of course, I bought this used, and the first owner, who will remain nameless, did not do the best maintenance program on this trike. Anyway, so here's the thing that's very important. There is a rule with, shock, with the rock shock, and you'll read it in their um, publications and instructions. Every 50 hours of riding, you're supposed to do this O-ring um, replacement so it maintains its shockiness, <laughs> its ability to absorb bumps and rebound properly. Of course, being um, 10 years old, mine had never had it done. It's probably far far past the 50 hour ride mark. But now that I know what a new shock looks like, I'm gonna use the old one just as a practice to tear it down, make sure I know how to put the rings back in and put it back together again. If you don't know how to do that, have your local bike shop do it because if you wanna maintain that nice smooth ride that you bought that Dumont for uh, or that cat trike rode so many years ago, you need to get that service done every 50 hours of riding for best performance. Okay, enough of that PSA. Um, also, you know, I had a um, video not too long ago where I went all fat tire. Well, I had to take it off the rear wheel recently, as in yesterday. I still have them on the front, but in the rear wheel, it never quite had the clearance. I had to drop it down to about 30 pounds of pressure so it wouldn't rub against the screw that holds the fenders on. And I also noticed that it wore the paint off um, the furthest most edge of the uh, frame because the tire was hitting that apparently too and wore the paint off. Uh-oh, bump. Yeah, still feels good. Even with the, uh, well, what I did is I took off the Schwabi uh, Big Benz, which are I think two and a quarter inch tires, maybe two inch tires, I don't remember the exact size and put back my Schwabi Marathon Plus, which are 1.35 tires. I would have liked 1.5, but during the pandemic, they could not be found. Anyway, this is a little lower res rolling resistance, but it's stiffer. I got about 80 pounds of pressure in it. The shock still takes up a lot of the uh, uh, ruts and bounces and sidewalk seams, but on a sidewalk with the fat tires, with the big bends, I hardly ever could feel the seams. But with this, yeah, I can feel the seams, but it's not so bad. The new shock really uh, absorbs it. Now, I'm getting better at removing the rear tire here to change 
the tire, I mean the rear axle, because I have the Falco e-hub on here, e-assist hub, and I've decided I do not want to have to replace that tire if it goes flat, if I run over something and puncture it. So what I did is I ordered the um, Tannis Armor, and I called them about it because you're supposed to measure the inside diameter of the rim to find out which one will fit, if it will fit. And mine was 24.5 millimeter, and they want it no more than um, 20 millimeters. So I called them and I said, oh, they could just swap out the pins. So they gave me pins that'll fit my trike, and um, I ordered it. So when it comes, I'm going to put this on. And this is not the insert. I got the full foam uh, foam rubber, I'm not sure exactly what it is, tire that cannot go flat because you don't even put air in it. Matter of fact, you tape over where the stem hole goes so you don't get water in there. And I'm going to be changing that out probably in January because I'm kind of busy until uh, January. And we'll see how that feels. I am sure it's going to feel a bit stiffer and I will feel those sidewalk seams a little bit more than uh, I am with the Marathon Plus, oh, there was a bump, um, but we'll see, we'll see uh, how that feels, and I'll do a whole video on that, so please subscribe and like this video, and you'll be notified when I have that video up in January. And meanwhile, just remember, check your shocks, make sure that they got uh, air in your air shock, in your rock shock, Monarch R, that's what you have, you Dumont and Road riders and uh yeah anyway i'm feeling great oh there goes the sun it's partly cloudy today and it is just i am so excited just to go out and ride for a few hours they got a nice little bunch of exercise stations at this park about um every 50 feet so i'm gonna go and do a i'm gonna bike between every exercise station and do my upper body while my trike does my lower body Anyway, that's pretty much it for um, this vlog. Uh, please, please like and subscribe this video so uh, Google will refer me to uh, more people and we can grow the channel and get more going. Oh, by the way, I had a, a talk. Here's a sidebar. Here's something completely different. I spoke to Rakesh at Falco the other day and they are totally sold out of motors at the moment. But the good news is we're going to see some more coming in in February and March. So if you're in those snowed in states, get ready to buy in March. You'll have your wheel all laced up and ready to go delivered by probably May, April, May, and you'll be ready to hit the road again with a new e-powered bike. So um, give me a call if you'd like more information on that at Get Back Trikes, which is my store. Anyway, that's it for now. Joel Lightcatcher signing off, and I'll see you on the next ride. Thanks so much for tuning in. Really appreciate you spending the time with me. I love riding my trike, and I know those of you who have love yours too, and those of you who don't are thinking about it. All right, catch you later. Bye.